Buongiorno, everyone. Dear authorities, dear friends. The natural family is under attack all over the world because this culture war, and I agree with Steve Turley, um, is a global war. The enemies of the natural family act in all countries, infiltrated in almost all institutions, all structures of power. They control the majority of the mainstream media, corporate media. They control the parties, the parties on the left, but also most of the time also the parties on the right. They run many nonprofit organizations funded by liberal foundations like George Soros Open Societies Foundations. They manage also most of significant international multilateral organizations like the UN, the Council of Europe or the European Union. The enemies of the family have multiple faces. They are the heirs of Italian Antonio Gramsci, the cultural Marxists, those that replaced the class struggle with the gender struggle and the identity politics. They are the radical feminists that want to impose their supremacist ideology on everyone. They are the abortion industry that want to earn more money killing babies. They are the gender ideologues and also the LGTB totalitarians that want to control the minds of our sons and daughters and also want to impose, um, you know, uh, the, our silence. They want to shut us up, as we have seen here in, in Verona with the World Council of Families. They are also the secular liberals that want to prohibit our faith to play any role in the public life of our societies. Sometimes they fight each other, but most of the time they work together in a coordinated way to impose their radical worldview. They have won many battles in the 60s or the 70s. However, I have witnessed in the past few years that we are turning tables. And most importantly, I'm convinced that in the following years, we, the pro-family movement, will win many battles and eventually also win this culture war. But in order to move forward faster, please let me suggest some strategies to you, my dear friends. Most of these strategies, I have been able to test them in many countries, thanks to the campaigns that we promote, that we launch at Citizen Go, and they work. So these are the five strategies that I propose. First, let's work effectively in our nations, but also globally. All pro-family organizations and activists for, from different countries, let's meet each other. This World Council of Families actually is a great opportunity to network. Let's strategize. Let's launch global campaigns that are supported by many organizations from different countries. Let's transcend the congresses and the meetings and work together in concrete projects and campaigns to defend the family from its enemies. Second, in order to break uh, the ice cap of political correctness, please don't be afraid, afraid to confront the enemies of the family, no matter how powerful they are. This is not an easy path, I know, but I believe it's the only path if we want to win this culture war. If you confront, please count on being insulted, mocked and threatened by powerful forces. We're seeing this happening here in, in Verona with the World Council of Families. Third, in order to make a significant impact, try to break, as I said, the ice cap. Try to break the system. Don't destroy the system, but destroy the way it works now. And you can do this in two ways. One, first, the direct path to power.
that's working, you know, in favor of the family via the political parties and elected officials. They get to vote, to change things. It's the elected officials and also all the people that work for them. You know, they are called the establishment. My favorite path, though, is the second path. Uh, it's a less understood practice path to power, and that's the indirect path to power. By controlling the environment of those who are in the direct path to power, you also control them. Fourth strategy, fourth proposal. In order to be effective in this indirect path to power, and this is the American Mike Rothfeld's proposal that I assume as mine and I've practiced for many years, you must follow two strategies. First, mobilize people. Um, as Morton Blackwell, the president of the Leadership Institute, uh, puts it, political success is determined over time by the number and the effectiveness of the political activists on, of either side. So please build a list of supporters and communicate a lot with your supporters. Second strategy, confront politicians. Uh, yes, I know I'm repeating this word, confront. Um, please try to make liberal politicians and decision makers fear you. And fifth strategy, or maybe I should have said it, you know, probably is the first one. Please pray. Pray for the natural family. Pray for our families. Trust God, trust the divine providence. And show to the world with your life, with your testimony, the truth, the goodness, and the beauty of the natural family. If we, the people in this room, and many others throughout the world, do this effectively, God willing, we will win the culture war sooner than later. I have no doubt. Well, thank you very much for dedicating part of your lives, your time to protecting and fighting for the family. And God bless you and your families. Thank you.